all of white species are on the king side ready to launch an attack. Can you spot a win for black? Very well done. If you spot it, you are excellent. Here, black can play rook into f3. You will see the idea of this. After white takes the rook, here you play knight to b4, threatening a checkmate. So he has to take your knight, whichever pawn he takes it with, you play bishop to a4. And these light squares cannot be defended. If white's king tries to run away, then you can just come in and checkmate. Black has a tactical blow here. Can you spot it? Here the best move is rook into g3. Our queen is hanging, let him take the queen. Here we play bishop to f4. Now we are setting a very strong mating net. If he tries to take our bishop, then we give a check. And this is a forced mate after the king moves back. We get our rook to g5. The two bishops are strong. He has to sacrifice his material. Then we keep giving him checks. Check, check and checkmate. Can you find this beautiful tactic for white? Well done, if you found it, you can hit the like button and let's see how many of you have got it right. The move is rook to ha check. The knight is forced to take the rook and then we have a beautiful checkmate. Do you see a way to reach the spawn to its destination? Here, the first move is rook to f8. The rook is forced to take it, now you sacrifice your queen. After the king takes it, you have sacrificed both your pieces, but now you under promote into a knight and you will win the queen back and you have a piece up. Can you find the winning move for black? Here the best move is rook to a5. We are threatening a ladder mate. If he tries to give a check and eliminate one rook, then here the bishop to e8 will be a checkmate. So he has to defend the checkmate. If he plays rook to a3, then we just play bishop to b3. And after his king moves, then we collect the knight and the rook. And if he tries to save this checkmate with rook to b2, making room for his king on b1, then here we play bishop to c2, blocking that square. After his rook comes in between, play rook b to a8. And now this is a strong threat. White spawn is near to promotion, but is pinned by black's rook. Can you find a solution to this problem? Here, white does not need to worry about the spin and can play f into g8 equals to knight. Here, after black takes our queen, we can deliver a fork on the king and the bishop and will be a knight up. It seems like a dull endgame position, but you have not seen what black has in mind. Can you spot the move? Here black plays the most extreme move, rook into b2. After the knight takes, you play c3. There are two variations, first we look at knight d3, stopping the promotion square. Here we play c4 and giving a discover check and threatening to take the knight. If he takes our bishop, then we take the knight not the rook and these two pawns are unstoppable. If he does not play knight to d3 and instead takes a bishop first, then here he is threatening to play knight to d3 so we stop that move. Then if he tries to play rook to b4, now his idea is if we push the pawn, he will take the c4 pawn and stop our pawn. Here we immediately tell the rook to go away. If he takes the c4 pawn, we play c into b2 and the rook cannot stop the pawn. If you haven't yet seen the previous editions of this video series, then you can click on the screen and for more editions, subscribe.